Today we practiced making odd and even numbers. We decided that if a number is even, it means that two people have the same amount. So here we have six pieces of candy. When we partner them up, we can see that each one has a partner. So the number is even. Here's the number seven. When we partner this number up, we can see that each one does not have a partner. Therefore, the number is odd. Let's take a look at these numbers and decide if they are even or odd. The number four. Since each one has a partner, the number is even. What about the number seven? Does each one have a partner? No, so the number is odd. Look at the number nine. Is this number even or odd? If you said odd, you're right, because each one does not have a partner. What about the number six? The number six is even, because each one has a partner. Let's practice. I'm going to spin the spinner. You get out some counters. You can use pennies or pieces of paper. Pair up your numbers and decide if the number is even or odd. Here we go. The number 10. Get out 10 counters and pair them up. Is that number odd or even? The number is even because each one has a partner. So 10 is an even number. another number. Number three. Is three an odd number or an even number? Three is odd because each one doesn't have a partner. Try the number seven. Get out seven counters and pair them up. Does each one have a partner? No, so the number is odd. How about the number one? Number one stands all alone, so it's odd. Let's try the number five. The number five does not have a partner for each one, so it's odd. Let's try one more, the number nine. Does each number have a partner? No, so the number is odd. You can practice at home. Put some counters in a cup. You can use any object pennies, pasta, anything that you have a lot of. Dump some of the counters up out of your cup. Pair them up. Decide if the number is odd or even. Write your odd numbers on one side. Write your even numbers on the other side. 